What's going on everybody? I have some anime, manga, movie news for you, and uh, I really don't need these headphones on because it just makes me shout louder and I don't really need to. But anyway, so apparently there's going to be a live action Helsing series developed by Amazon, uh, written by the guy that wrote the John Wick movies, Derek Kolstad. Now, I'll say right off the bat, I go into most things like this with an open mind. I know there's going to be a Yu Yu Hakusho anime, or a live action series here pretty soon. Also, I don't think every live action thing made from a manga and anime are bad. Yes, there are really bad ones out there. Dragon Ball Evolution just is, is like a black plague on our lives. But there's also good ones out there. I really liked Alita Battle Angel. Uh, even though I didn't read the manga, I liked, uh, what was it, Live, Die, Repeat, or whatever it is, the Tom Cruise one. I thought that was really good. And I actually, I'm in the minority where I actually really did enjoy the live-action Ghost in the Shell movie. I know a lot of people hate it, but I could tell that the people that made that movie actually had a passion for what they were working on. There were so many scenes taken directly out of the original anime movie, out of standalone complex, kind of put together. And yes, it was dumbed down. For kind of a normie audience, right? I understand that. I understand that, like, you, what you got to understand is that movies are a business, all right? So every movie that gets made is made with the purpose of making money. Yes, there is still artistic integrity out there, but in order to, there are very few people that have gotten to a level in being a film director or a movie maker to where they can really make whatever they want with whatever budget they want. That's a very rare thing. That's a very, like, a very small minority of directors are actually able to do that. So, what you have to do when you're adapting a property is you have to make it accessible for a larger group of people rather than just the hardcore fans that are coming for that particular product. And I understand that as a consumer. Like I understand that the go like the Ghost in the Shell movie, a lot of it, um, a lot of stuff is just explained to you verbatim as opposed to something that maybe the viewer can go back home and think about later or reflect on about life. A lot of it is just sort of like explicitly told to you. But I at least understand the reason why they did that, and that all of a side, I don't care about the Scarlett Johansson casting, I think she was fine in the movie, I actually think the movie actually turned out pretty good, in my opinion. But it's obviously not the same thing as the anime and manga, and yes, the anime and manga is going to be a lot better. The same thing I think is going to happen with the Helsing movie, which I think, it, I believe it's a movie, I believe they say call it a feature here in the article, is that... Um, I, I believe that it's probably going to be dumbed down a little bit. Uh, some people would say Helsing is dumb already, but <laughs> but uh, I don't. I think it's good. Um, it'll probably be a, a little bit more mainstream. So if you're looking for like a straight-up adaptation, I already think the best adaptation of Helsing is already done. It's Helsing Ultimate, the anime series, the 10-episode series, adapts the entire manga, each episode being an entire volume of the manga. Great work, great animation, great voice acting. I still, to this day, think Crispin Freeman in the dub is the best dub performance that I've ever heard for any anime character. Uh, I even think it's better than the Japanese. I think it's great. I think it's amazing. So it's already done. So if you already want to just watch Helsing as opposed to reading it, you already have your adaptation. It's done. It's great. It's out there. Uh, the live action is going to be something different. Um, but I do believe that the people behind it actually do have care and passion for the project. So let's go ahead and read the article real quick. And then I'll give you my sort of thoughts after that. So this is the dude, the guy that wrote the John Wick movies, um, where he says about the project, Ever since my brother introduced me to Helsing, the manga and anime some years ago, I've been obsessed with adapting it. And when Mike Callahan and his team managed to secure the rights to the partnership to partner us up with uh, Brian Kavanaugh Jones and Amazon, I mean, damn dude, this is a dream. So, I mean, that's a that's a promising quote. He seems like he's actually really interested and in, in wants to work on the project. And then it just gives a little summary about Helsing already, uh, reimagines Dracula, which, spoiler alert, Jesus Christ. Um, and then he says, I've always loved the vampire genre, especially when a creator is able to put their own unique spin on it. So when Derek introduced me to Alucard and the Helsing organization, I knew we had something special in that tradition. Uh, Koto Hirano's Gonzo reimagining of Dracula Van Helsing, the mythology, is an exhilarating, quirky mashup of action and horror unlike anything we've seen before. We are incredibly excited to partner with Brian and Fred at Automatic, and that Amazon is on board to help us bring the wit and madness of Helsing to the, to the screen. So that's, again, really promising to me. It talks about a lot of the other guys that are involved with working in it. I don't really recognize any other names, so I can't comment on that. But they say that Derek is an exceptional writer and we are excited to partner with him on what he does very best, building a rich mythology filled with iconic characters. And that's true. So if you think about the John Wick movies, um, so he wrote all the John Wick films, right? And uh, one thing to keep in mind and to consider, a lot of what makes John Wick great 
is the action sequences and the stunt work and it's the the kind of uh movement the kinetic kind of energy within the john wick movies is what people go to see what's what makes people excited um as far as the screenplay is considered because remember it's just the screenwriter it's not the entire john wick team it's not the stunt team it's not the directors it's just the writer but having said that the writing of the John Wick movies actually does incorporate a lot of mythology because you have everything going on with the hotel and the um, the blood pack system and uh, the coins that they use and everything. Like there's a there's a whole lore behind John Wick. Someone should actually do a video about that someday. Do the John Wick lore, uh, everything that goes on within the hotels and the rules and stuff like that and how it works. I think that would be a cool video. But uh, so he's actually able to kind of uh, to write sort of a little bit more of an intricate thing than you would think. And the article just wraps up saying, I'm truly excited to work with this stellar team together with Amazon to realize a postmodern reinterpretation of the Dracula character that flips him on his head in an inventive and compelling way. And that's that's definitely what Helsing does. So look, my theory of what this movie is actually going to be is I feel like they're going to take the Saris character. She's the one that becomes the vampire that Alucard sires in the very first episode or the very first volume of the manga. And I think we're going to be pretty much uh, probably using her as the protagonist throughout the movie and the reason i think that is because uh, most people are unfamiliar with helsing and that's what i'm talking about where if you make a movie you have to be able to get the return back for the movie so it has to kind of interest a larger audience than what you might think um it can't just be the helsing fans and actually i don't even know how many like hardcore helsing fans are out there right now i mean the series has been out for a while it's a relatively short series it's pretty straightforward so it's not this sort of like ongoing thing that people are always clamoring for more about um, so I think it was going to focus on Saris because she's sort of our eyes and window into the world of Helsing. She's going to be the character that doesn't know what's going on, the character that's learning about her abilities, the character that's learning what Helsing is, what they do, learning about Alucard and everything. And so it's a good, easy, convenient way to sort of bring the viewer in and explain all of these things through the character. Um... And as opposed to kind of giving a lot of exposition and whatnot, which would be boring, you're going to kind of experience it through the character experiencing it. That's just my theory. That's not in the article. I don't know if that's actually what they're going to do, but I feel like they're going to lean in that direction. I'm glad to know that it's a movie and not a series because uh, doing something like Helsing, I don't know where they're going to get the budget to do this movie because, spoiler alert, at the end of Helsing, I mean, there's like the entire city of london is overrun with nazi vampires and, and alucard releasing his zero restriction with a bunch of armies of dead souls coming out to battle against these creatures like it's just so grand scope like lord of the rings scale battle at the at the end so i have no idea how they would possibly manage that on a budget for a property that's not proven in america or uh, i guess amazon is everywhere so maybe you know that's gonna help it out i don't know so i'm not expecting an exact adaptation of the manga i'm not expecting it to be 100 percent. i'm probably i'm pretty certain they're gonna do their own thing with it which could be hit or miss the thing for me is like i already have a perfect adaptation with helsing ultimate i don't need a live action series um but it, it could turn out to at least be decent it could turn out to be uh, pretty cool in its own right and at the very least if it is decent if it's good enough as a movie not necessarily as a helsing adaptation but just as a movie it's a good movie it can turn people on to the anime and manga that have never heard of it before that could get interested in it and um into it through this way so it could turn out to be a good thing it could turn out uh maybe like battle Eagle, battle angel alita um, which probably a lot of people didn't know what that was, saw the movie and then really liked it, maybe checked out the manga later. So who knows if it could do that. I think the number one key though, the absolute number one key into making this whatever it's going to be is the casting of Alucard. It's so 100% crucial that they nail Alucard because Alucard must have this sort of commanding, domineering, uh, authoritative presence to him. He absolutely humiliates and ridicules his enemies as he's beating them into the dirt. He enjoys the sort of evil swelling of victory that he gets through battle. And even when he's not saying anything, even when he has no lines or dialogue, he still has this ominous presence of darkness around him. And you need to be able to feel that coming off of the screen for the character. And so that's the biggest concerning thing for me is if they can nail the casting of Alucard. Because if you have an actor that doesn't carry that presence, that doesn't feel like they have this lurking evil maniacism within, you know, within them, but like just behind their eyes, something even darker beyond the surface, you know. It's a character that, yes, is Dracula, has to play Dracula, but also has to play this Alucard persona of Dracula. Um, 
both of which kind of carry this weight of immense presence to them. So so that's 100% the most crucial detail of nailing this. If they can at least get an actor that can pull off Alucard, pull off the presence, the voice, uh, reading off the lines. Again, Crispin Freeman's voice acting as Alucard is just what's always going to be in my head. My favorite vocal performance of all time. Of, of all anime uh, dubs and subs, whatever, whatever, Crispin Freeman's Alucard is my favorite. Uh, um, I just think he absolutely nails it. So, so yeah, that's that's a tall order, man. It's casting Alucard is is a tall order. That's like casting, you know, that's like picking a Batman. That's like picking a, a you know a major character that's going to be the crux of your your story, your universe. That's that's a, a make or break is within a cast it was in the casting um doesn't matter how great the film around it is the casting is what matters here uh, at least that's my opinion um like i said going into it with an open mind i think if it's at least decent i'll be happy i'm not expecting miraculous things i'm not expecting it to adapt the manga perfectly i'm not expecting it to be the greatest adaptation of all time i just want it to be good i just want it to be good. just good just good that's all doesn't have to be a 10 out of 10 could be a 7 out of 10, 6 out of 10, around there. just has to be good, all right? And then uh, hopefully it can bring people into the manga and anime as well. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's? Uh, do you think it just shouldn't be made at all? Do you th Are you thinking, like, fuck this, this is stupid, like, there's no reason for it? And I agree, there's no reason for a Helsing live action. Like, there's literally, legitimately no reason. Um, I'd rather it continue in, like, anime or manga form. Like, there's no, there's no reason for a live action. And uh, there's no reason for, like, any live action anime, honestly, but... Um, if they're going to do it, I'm at least excited to see what comes out of it, uh, it, it regardless. But uh, what do you guys think? So put that in your comments below. What are your guys' thoughts? What do you think the, about the John Wick guy writing it? Do you think that matters or do you think it doesn't because John Wick is all about the stunt work anyway? It's not really about the story, even though I think it has a good story. But like, what are your opinions You know about that? Put that in the comments below. Do you want the Hellsing live action? Do you do you uh, do you want it to be like? Is there a particular casting decision that you have in your mind, or do you just want nothing to do with it? So comment all that down below. Let's have a discussion about it. Thank you guys as always for watching these videos. Please give it a like if you did enjoy it, and comment below because both those things do help in the algorithm. I know it's kind of like the standard YouTube spiel that everyone has to say, but I, you get you have to say it. <laughs> you know, you know. Um, I would really appreciate it. Also, check the links in the description for the Twitter, Discord, Patreon all that stuff if you want to support the channel on a deeper level. Other than that, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you next time.